Fascinating gold embroidery, colourful pottery and handmade carpets. In the old caravan city of Bukhara, merchants still sell their goods under the ancient trading domes. In this edition of Uzbekistan Life, we'll discover the gems of the centuries old handicrafts. It's busy at the master's home. Umida Mukamadieva and her colleagues are discussing their latest handmade carpets, weaving techniques and colours. It's a centuries-old tradition that the women of the neighborhood gather in the biggest house of the area to work together. They take great pride in the art of carpet weaving, a craft deeply rooted in the city's history. These kind of carpets are part of our culture. If you enter the home of an Uzbek family, you'll see these carpets on the walls. We also have them on the floor. Bukhara's carpets are famous worldwide for their distinctive design and multicolored patterns. These colors come from natural dyes, the red from pomegranates, the yellow from onions and the brown from walnut peel. All the fibers we use are natural. We have a unique method of weaving and a design that makes our carpets different. We're using a lot of motifs of animals, tribal patterns and flowers. These precious masterpieces are produced from silk, cotton or wool of a baby camel's neck and it takes at least three months to complete a small rug. At almost every corner of the bustling centre, artisans sell their carpets. The city is famous for its bazaars, caravanserais and trading domes. Bukhara was located uh, one of the great important locations in the center of Great Silk Road. And from ancient times, uh, just the caravans and the big uh, traders were passing this city. Many kinds of uh, handicrafts were still kept alive, for example, the ceramic works. One of the most famous craftsmen of this region is Abdullah Nazulayev. Ceramics is a uh, family business for us. My father, my grandfather, my grand-grandfather, they were all ceramics. I'm in sixth generation. The ceramics master of a pottery dynasty, he still uses the old techniques and only local materials like clay. Pottery is highly popular in Uzbekistan and among the oldest crafts in the country. There are several centers of ceramics in Uzbekistan and each center has own style like different colors, different uh, motifs and different uh, shapes. And multiple colors uh, of Bukhara area is green, brown and yellow colors. It takes no less than 24 steps to fabricate such wood-fired glazed earthenware pottery from start to finish. More than 60 different shapes and about 100 motifs are used in the region of Bukhara. But the city is also famous for another precious handicraft, gold embroidery. In ancient times, the handicraft was reserved only for emirs and his courtiers. Today, dresses, kaftans, shoes and even theater curtains are decorated with the precious golden thread. Now I'm sewing a man's wedding gown. It's one of our national patterns. Dolnoza Tosheva applies the golden thread thoroughly. I was taught this handicraft when I was little. That's why it fascinates me, especially the shining of the gold. It inspires my soul. It's time to leave this beautiful oasis city and make our way to the most southern tip of the country. In the next edition of Uzbekistan Life, we'll explore Tamez, a unique archaeological treasure trove that goes back 2,500 years.